I think many people would like to believe that being involved in a cult is somehow a personal choice, but I would say that no cult that I know of comes to people in a very transparent way and says, look, this is who we are, this is what we, our, our real goals are. We're, we've been called a cult, and uh, our goal is to control your mind and to exploit you and take advantage of you. There is no group that is that candid, that transparent. Uh, so what happens to people is they are tricked. And what we need to reflect on is, aren't we all persuadable? I mean, there is advertising. There are celebrity endorsements to influence us to buy certain products. There are political packs running endless ads on television. What is it that we don't get that we don't understand that persuasion techniques and influence techniques are being used every day by corporations, by political parties, and, and self-interested groups to get us to do something. Robert Cialdini, a professor of psychology at Arizona State University, wrote a book, Influence, in which he basically says that there are six basic principles to influence, such as authority, uh, liking someone, you're more persuadable by someone you like. Uh, for example, celebrity endorsements influencing people because we like someone, we'll buy the product. And so Cialdini went down these principles in an examination saying, look, they can be used for good or they can be used for bad. So given that the world is filled with advertising and filled with propaganda to persuade us, to influence us, what makes anyone think that we are not persuadable? And all cults do is simply intensify and focus those techniques on the same people continuously to, as Shine said, break them down, change them, and then refreeze them. People would like to believe that only weird or stupid or, or emotionally damaged people can be involved in a destructive cult. I have done 500 cult interventions. Included in that number were five medical doctors. One was an orthopedic surgeon, another was an anesthesiologist. I am here to tell you that the most sophisticated, educated people can be tricked by a destructive cult. I've worked with people from all races, all socioeconomic backgrounds, uh, people from good families, people from troubled families. I mean, the idea that it's only them, it's, some, it's somebody out there, but not me, that can be trapped by a destructive cult is a, a foolish notion. And if someone believes that, it sets you up to be tricked by a cult because you've already decided you can't be, you're completely safe. So when this group approaches you through a trusted friend, through a coworker, through someone you know, and that's the way people often are brought in to a destructive cult, through someone they know and trust, that's when you're going to say, well, I'm, I'm invincible, I'm invulnerable. And so then you will be ushered in with your, with your notions of invincibility and you can be easily victimized. Anyone can become involved in a destructive cult. If you think that somehow you're immune, that it can never happen to you, you've already set yourself up and you're ready to be tricked and conned by a destructive cult. Uh, none of us are invincible to these persuasion techniques. If there is one uh, situation or characteristic that I see that is a common element regarding many people that have been recruited and tricked by destructive cults, it would be this, that at that particular point in their life, they were going through a difficult time. Uh, they were going through a divorce. They were unemployed. They were physically ill. Uh, someone had died that they loved. They were at a vulnerable point in their life, and at that juncture, they had the bad luck that someone uh, fairly persuasive, or more likely someone they knew and they trusted, came along and said, I have a group that can help you. 
I have a way to heal you, to make the hurt better. Come with me to this group. Come with me to the weekend seminar. Come with me and you will uh, benefit from this. And uh, the person who was asking them to join, was the, was, that person was a true believer. So it was a sincere effort on that person's part. Other than that, I would say that it could be anyone uh, and that there is no particular profile for the victims of destructive cults.